Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of season 2 of the Age of Madness Rides. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Sure. We know that's a fucking lie. Like, mm. Mm. Maybe she needs something to drink or food or something? I don't know. Well, yeah, I'll call a doctor. That's the smartest thing. <laughs> oh. No, you're gonna hurt yourself even more! Cheesy. <laughs> no, cheese, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing. We're just being nice. Ask where the the room was. Remember, you're looking.
Don't worry, you'll see her again probably real soon. Okay, is Veronica a bitch? Because, I mean, you know, poor Phil, she was feeling some type of way. Okay, makes sense. Well, at least someone helped you. Damn, Alex. <laughs> Just regular kids, just like you. Got yeah, pretty hair. <laughs> Narcissist. Typical. <laughs> Thank you.
Hmm. Should we clap? I mean... <laughs> oh, the dead language, of course. I don't trust her. I mean, she looks sweet. But at the same time, she could be a bitch. Mm-mm. Even Phillips, she knows that Veronica is bad blood. Like, no, bad juju. No, no, no. <laughs> Get drained. <laughs> Talk about it. Yeah, she could look 15, but she could be a thousand years old, even more. That's weird. Okay. Why do I want to look like a dang tapeworm or something? Mm -mm.
Well, I mean, mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Bye, that was so fucking cute. <laughs> That's what you get. Mm hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, uh, hi. Go. Well, what were we watching? Ancient Magnus Fried, mommy. Not that, no. No, okay.
Of course, most definitely. <laughs> oh, we drag his ass. <laughs> Be like, I don't. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, he's in your class with you. Okay. Why? <laughs> oh, God, dang it. I got hiccups. That was it. Do not end right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastards. Bastards. Why would you do that? I wanted to know what was on the other side of the door. It could be, you know, the headmistress having a meeting or something. I don't know. Or, of course, it's something secretive that we're probably not going to know until, like, several episodes into this season about what the heck it is. Okay. But for, for Chisa's first day, I mean, yes, she did kind of. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting Elios to be, like, her second shadow. So, like, okay, yes, the dog, and then, like, he's secretly there. So, like, any if any time anything happens, boom, pops up, like, nobody's business. But Veronica, going back to her, and going back to, um, I'm turning that up, Phil. Veronica, like I said, I don't really trust her. It, it, it seems like she has her own situation. She seems like the quote-unquote mean girl, even though she's only showing like, oh, hey, I'm so sweet and pretty and nice and I'm not mean. And I felt like in the next couple of weeks, we're going to see a different side of her. So, of course, she has a mask up just as much as like anybody else. This is, this is college, but it's always still high school at the end of the day. Regardless, it's high school, middle school, all over again. So, you know, every single time when you think you get out, you're still back in it regardless. Okay. Okay. No mad at it. Makes you wonder still, but oh. Okay. My my biggest other thing is let's let's go ahead with the door again at the end of this episode. Like I said, anything can truly be behind it. But there once we know we know from episode one there's some certain things going on at this college that they're keeping very hush hush. That no one is really talking about except certain teachers, staff members, whatever, maybe some of the students and such. But yeah, it makes you wonder, maybe they're testing on something that they don't want the kids to know about, possibly. I'm not sure on that. Um, having Alice here as well is really a nice breath, I can never say it right, breath of fresh air. I mean, because I was expecting it to be Chise going in it all alone, that she doesn't have anybody that she can talk to and stuff, except like Phil, because that's her new newest friend and stuff. But seeing Alice is just, oh my God, like now we'll be able to see a lot more of like, of their friendship blossoming and such because at first I always assumed going in from the original from the first season like Alice really didn't like her like that and such but it is interesting to see that she is also here doing her own separate thing so hopefully we maybe get an episode kind of all focusing on her and her situation and also why she's here it was a little weird to see her in this class with her because I'm expecting like okay we're we're seeing maybe like I'm surprised that it's all little kids in here, but of course they're also, you know, 
mages as well. So we're going to see every every type of age up in here. Now the kid who wants to ask Chise to help him become a mage, it gives you like a throwback of season one when it was Chise and Elios at the first time and such. So it makes you wonder how this relationship is going to go between these two. I mean, it could go, you know, right and it could go completely sour. Who freaking knows? But I mean, I, it, to me, I think he kind of has potential. I'm not 100% sure on that. I could be lying to myself, yes. <laughs> but I, I think my biggest thing is I have to see him more in action. I mean, for this little test that they had with the three magical creatures and stuff, yeah, you got to kind of see everyone else, but still at the same time, mm, not so much. So we need a little bit more until I'm like, okay, yeah, you have potential. Right now, some of y'all got potential. Not all y'all. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of season two of the Ancient Magnus Ride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode three. Bye, guys.